So I'm going to show you around making your first page on uh, my portfolio Auric using Mahara. So here you can see I'm logged in to my portfolio Warwick AC UK. And I'm just going to click create. Now you can see here that it takes me to the section called pages and collections and you can see I've got lots of practice pages here. Making a page is easy, you just click add. And I'm going to show you one I've made already in true Blue Peter styley. So play page is just here. Now, if I scroll this down, you can see it's got all sorts of different content. It's got video content. It's got uh, images. It's got a displayed Google Doc there. It's uh, got a Quizlet quiz there, a PDF, and even open badges and uh, a license there, a sound re SoundCloud recording, and again, some more videos and things to, to test and play with. So how did that happen? Well, if I click on the right hand side, the little pencil here for edit, then you'll see this is what goes on behind the scenes in the page. The beauty of Mahara is it lets you create web pages without having to understand coding. Uh, if you do, then great, but you don't have to. So now you can see I'm in edit mode. You can see I've got extra little um, uh, tabs around each file. I've got a bin to get rid of them. And over on the left hand side here, you can see I've got links to different file types. Now, if I open the media file type here, amongst there, you can see I've got a PDF uh, file to download or even create a folder, even put in some HTML. You can see under external, if I open that up, that's where I've got the open badges um, application here. It's also where I've got the external media from the video that I've hosted. So let me show you how that happens. So at the very simplest level, all I'm going to do is to click, drag and drop a text box, put it into a space, and then this dialogue is going to open up. And I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to type some random stuff and all I'm going to do then is to click save. And now you can see the heading, the title I put in and the random stuff. But if I wanted just to check that it looked right, I can come to the bottom of the page and click display page. And that'll show the view that we just had at the beginning with my extra text box in there. Now that essentially is the process. It just happens that there are different widgets for different types of content. So if I come back into edit mode, uh, and if I wanted to add an image, I would do the same process again. Click, drag and drop, add that image. And I would have to open this section here in order to choose my image. So let me choose one randomly here. I'm going to click select and save. When you add an image to uh, Mahara, it will check with you that actually the image that you want to use, you have the rights to use. And you will have to tick that copyright uh, notice in order to use it. So there's a lovely picture of Grace that I've just found and added. And again, if I come to the bottom of the page, click display page, I can very quickly see what I've added. So what I recommend is you just start with your own play page. You come again, I'll show you how I got there. This hamburger menu at the top right hand corner. Open it up. Pages and collections. I was using a page I'd already uh, created, but you can create a new page for yourself, only visible to yourself. By default, everything in Mahara is visible only to you. Click add, choose a page. This is just making one page. Give it a title, yet another test. And 
save it. There's lots more information you can add. Now this page that I've just made, you can see the layout here has got three columns. Now that layout I can change at any point. So if I want to change the settings of the page, I can click on the layout. This is why it's so important to explore because things are by default hidden. Click them and see what is revealed. And then I can choose a layout that I prefer. So in this case, I'm going to go for two columns, but you can see I can make quite complex layouts. So you can play with this at any point during your um, editing.